Dear fellow redeemed in our Lord Jesus Christ, greetings in the name of our Lord. Today's devotion for Friday, November 6th comes from 3rd John, and the theme for today is imitate good. St. John writes, I have written something to the church, but Diotrephus, who likes to put himself first, does not acknowledge our authority. So if I come, I will bring up what he is doing, talking wicked nonsense against us, not content with that. He refuses to welcome the brothers, and so stops those who want to and puts them out of the church. Beloved, do not imitate evil, but imitate good. Whoever does good is from God. Whoever does evil has not seen God. St. John is writing to us today, encouraging us to love one another. That is how we imitate good. He talks about someone who has been divisive, who has not acknowledged the word and authority of the apostles, and has cast people out of the church. St. John wants us to encourage people to come to the church and to hear God's word and receive his gifts. He wants us to welcome people and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Whoever does good is from God. And this good is demonstrating God's love in and through Jesus Christ to those around us and being loving and welcoming to them rather than divisive. The bad example is refusing to welcome the brothers, but a good example is to welcome people into the church to hear the word of God and believe those who are called by God to proclaim his word in truth to us. Imitating good involves hearing God's word, receiving his gifts, and loving our fellow Christians. And so, with this in mind, let us pray. For all elected and appointed civil servants, for all judges and magistrates, for all emergency personnel, for all members of the armed forces, and for all of us as citizens and neighbors, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Mighty and eternal God, you established the church and have granted her your aid and protection. Through these many years, continue to pour out upon us your spirit and grace, that we may accomplish your bidding and proclaim your saving name to every corner of the earth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For grace that we may hear and heed the invitation of our Lord and joyfully wear the baptismal clothing of his righteousness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, blessed Lord, we pray you to grant us according to your merciful goodness and for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, I look forward to seeing you all this weekend. And I pray that you have a great rest of your week. May we go in the Lord's peace and joy, knowing that he has given us eternal life.